Hi everyone, here with Gecko Gigo, your favorite horse-headed mouse. So today we're talking about a melee build with mouse, of course with a face puncher. Uh, what is better with mouse with a melee build is the blue leather, which allows us to get a lot of shield retribution, we goes in combo with the frozen snowshoe, and also the splash damage with the white elephant. The frozen snowshoe will allow us to freeze the enemy and when the enemy is freeze you will deal 300% more damage to him. To get easier to get them with a slide I'm using a light speed as a grenade. This way you can uh, slow them from far uh, with the grenade thrown and uh, anoint. Yeah, when you slide your shield will be depleted so you want to run into tenacious defense. If because you run into tenacious defense you'll go to desperate measure that's why I'm using the Rad Anoint on the Face Puncher. Uh, we don't reach experimental mu munition and shot fuse since the Face Puncher is melee damage and, and so it will not do critical uh, damage and it will not uh, proc shot fuse. Because we're using splash damage, we go to fire in the skag den and talk cross promotion. We want to DPS as long as, as possible because we're using a um, 2 ammo per shot face puncher. We go to means of destruction um, because we're using redistribution. We can go to put the holy pin and honestly the four point here you can put them elsewhere like into Dakabir, if you want to go the um, Guardian takedown with the final boss, you can skip the teleport phase by going into the beer. But you can also go into the Iron Bank. Uh, we don't want the scratching APMs because of the um, non-critical damage by the face puncher. So we want stroke with the embers uh, since we do splash damage. Uh, scrappy because it's weapon damage and the rush in offensive um, because uh, sticky bomb will explode moments later and uh, when you slide you'll uh, regen your, your shield. We're using the shield break on the shield uh, because when you, fr uh, when you slide the shield will be, will be empty. About the artifact, you can match the, cross the stone with uh, your enemy. There is a firestone, the cryostone, uh, radiation stone and chuck stone to get some uh, movement speed in order to get some skips to the guardian takedown we are using the berserker can use a snowdrift elephant in order to mobbing i think it's easier and funnier to cross uh, the full zone <laughs> the full uh, arena uh, with uh, one slide but we'll see during the run here are the Mayhem modificators, so we're running Speed Demon in order to slide easier to the enemy. Two modificators will don't impact our DPS, and since we are not making critical hits, we can play not the face. Let's jump into it. So, a row shot without any buff. With quite one shot this enemy. So now let's try to froze some one of oh. high dear. So you froze 200%. One shot. You even don't need white elephant. Step. Slide. And we need to froze them. So um, country will help us a lot. Like I'm seven and one shot on it. Boom. Without frozen him. So you need two shots to kill him. One shot with a cross of stone, quite easier. One shot. Boom. So let's see the difference between the snowdrift white elephant and the stone white elephant. The snowball will proc the snow shoe. Let's see. 
Oof. Let's one shot them. Yeah, very fast. Send a grenade. The one is broken. One shot them. Even without the free of them. So for mobbing, I will try this very easier and a lot of mobility. But we are running speed demon, so it's very for the fun. If you want to um, optimize the damage, you can. You have to run for stone. Usually I like the um, cryostone because as in the slow the enemy. But... So now for the crystal phases. For the crystal phases, I'll use a spark plug because the electrifactor coil will um, trigger the frozen solution. Is it really quiet? Yeah, it's so. A few grenades, a slam, you, you comes frozen kill. Let never allow them to go into that circle. A frozen. Okay, so you can see. <laughs> Stay down, scrub. Take care. But it is also the enemy, but the screen too. See on my chill. I never die. Up. Done. Same here. Oh. Look at the minimap in order to see where they come from behind. Green one here. Right. Frozen. Die. Oh, too fast. Die. Something here. Not to me, where is it? Can be very fast. You should do it well. This Nova is awesome. Oh, this one you can freeze them. So for bossing, we're using the Corrosive Stone because it's an armor and a boss. So never forget to get some Droning in Brass and Phalanx Retreat on you'll be fast and you can froze the boss you can you can slide to the boss but you will you will not be frozen so you can frozen but then you have to watch your enemy up you froze aim for one of his legs because he's, uh, you can easily go um, between his legs <laughs> and you don't want you don't want to be out of the area so on 3 drawing base is the perfect balance drawing base 3 and 3 match on it. And now we can get big damage. Only one shot because we made the damage. Yep. Next um, skip, we'll have to use a basic wild elephant. So, to get faster, just This is a highly advanced guardian if it is able to speak with us. EMP5 for the movement speed. Then, <clears throat> let's change with the basic wild elephant. So, 
you have to melee enemy who works with the face puncher, of course. You have to kill two enemy in less than 10 seconds to make that jump will allow us to go through the, um, the first boss. So first, I go in the middle, try to close one in order to get one or two frozen. So I think there is a way to do the dead jump to here. I never um, success it, but it was maybe more because <laughs> I was tired to redo the crystal phases. So uh, as the last jump, uh, once you find a way, you'll do it every time. So we don't click on chat fuse. There is no artifact on it. And you see an explosion. No. And now we allow short fuse. And you'll see there is no difference. Yet. There is also no crit spot with the face puncher as long as it's melee damage. So that's the same mechanic. Uh, 